I just killed a fly that was flying around for the last freaking 10 minutes and uh, it pissed me off. So uh, it met death. In this video, we're gonna talk about why I bought this ridiculous, gigantic ultra wide monitor. It's a 5K, 2K monitor by LG. It's like $2,000. Why would I spend $2,000 on a monitor? There's a few good reasons. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this, but for now, this is really heavy and I'm gonna put it down. So let's jump into the video and talk about this LG monitor that I bought, even though I already own an ultra wide monitor. I know it's crazy that I spent $2,000 on a computer screen. That is a lot of money, but like I said, there are a few good reasons, so hear me out. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. LG has no affiliation with me. I have no affiliation with LG. The opinions in this video are completely my own, and LG did not send me this monitor. I chose to buy it. That being said, I will leave a link in the description if you're thinking about picking one up for yourself because it is a beast of a monitor. Hello? Hey, I'm recording a YouTube video. Bye. I was just looking at the notes I made to make this video and it, it says the first reason why I decided to buy Tim his monitor, buy Tim his monitor. I don't know who Tim is and I definitely did not buy him a monitor. So the first reason I decided to buy this monitor was that I bought it through a business. I own a video production company. I have a business visa. Yes, this monitor was a couple thousand dollars, but because our business of course makes money and then we'll need to owe money at the end of the year through taxes, we can use certain expenses to bring down that owed tax. So let's say you owe $10,000 to the government in taxes based on the income that your business made, just an arbitrary number. You paid $2,000 for the the monitor and let's say you could write off 50% it's a computer item. That means that you spent $2,000 but you get to save $1,000 50% of the $2,000 through taxes at the end of the year. I know business expenses and taxes can be a little bit tricky to understand especially if you don't own a business. Instead of giving the government $10,000 you give them $9,000. You actually ended up paying about $1,000 for the monitor instead of $2,000. And beyond saving some money at the end of the year which reduces my overall cost to the original purchase, I also bought it on Amazon Prime Day. For that one day, I was able to save $500. The second reason beyond price is, like I said, because I was updating my main editing system to the new Mac Studio, the Mac Studio is incredibly powerful and can handle a lot. So it made sense to update my HD ultra wide monitor to a 5K, 2K monitor. So the resolution is much higher than my existing monitor and the connectivity is much better. It actually has Thunderbolt 4 ports on it. As you may know, the latest M1 and M2 Apple computers use Thunderbolt 4 ports. Thunderbolt 4 is extremely fast and can handle a lot of bandwidth. So the fact that there are two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back of the monitor, that means that one cable can come out of the computer, go into the monitor, and then I could daisy chain another monitor out of the uh, second Thunderbolt 4 port if I wanted. And of course, from a perspective of modernizing my desk setup to a new Mac Studio, it makes sense to have less cables and having the option to expand to another monitor down the road is awesome. I wanted to jump in really quickly while I'm editing this and tell you about one extra feature that I didn't really cover in the original Talking Head that I did. And that is that you can actually plug hard drives directly into this monitor and honestly, it is amazing being able to have easy ports that you can just plug in right on the side of the monitor. So there's two USB 3s on the side of the monitor and then on the back there is um, a USB-C or a Thunderbolt 3 and 4 port as well. The third reason is resolution. I touched on this a bit in terms of the 5K, 2K resolution. And I can assume since you're watching this video that you're most likely a video editor or someone that uses a computer for many hours each day. And you can appreciate how much that extra space means to someone like us who uh, works off their computer all day. Not only is it easier to have more things on screen, but it also makes you more efficient. So you'll get more work done, you'll be more productive. You're not spending all this extra time swapping between different monitors or different applications on your computer you can just display all the different ones and you're good to go and on the topic of resolution with this monitor because it's a true 4k monitor meaning 2160 instead of 1080 what I was using before 
and then horizontally it's 5K, even bigger than a 4K resolution. That is a huge increase in resolution and I'm gonna be able to record all of my future tutorials in at least 4K now. You might be asking why I didn't buy the Apple display to go along with my uh, Mac Studio and why I would choose to buy an LG monitor instead. Well, the reality is I did a lot of research on this and even though the Apple computer is 6K, so a little higher resolution than, than this 5K monitor, the Apple computer is twice as expensive. So the fact that this LG monitor is half the price and I was able to get 20% off beyond that, it was a no-brainer. The fact that this is also an ultra-wide monitor, meaning you have the extra horizontal space, I don't know if you've ever worked on an ultra-wide monitor before, but I feel like I can't go back to a regular size monitor at this point. In terms of the look and design of this monitor, it is a 40-inch curved monitor. My last monitor was a 34-inch ultra-wide, this is a 40-inch ultra-wide, so there's quite a bit more, uh, again, screen space. Another great feature with this monitor is the fact that it's a 10-bit monitor. That means that it's gonna show significantly more colors than other monitors that are 8-bit. If you're a video editor like me, a video creator, you're gonna appreciate shooting in 10-bit and being able to color correct, color grade in 10-bit as well. Continuing along with the design of this monitor, it just looks good on the desk. And as someone who spent many months making all of these uh, sound panels by hand, you know, they reduce echo, but also they look good. Design is important to me, so I love the fact that this monitor not only has great features, but it looks good on the desk as well. Now for the cons. This monitor is not great for gaming. It'll work, it'll be fine, but if you're a serious gamer I would not recommend this monitor because it's only five milliseconds. Most gaming monitors are one millisecond and if you're playing competitively that of course would be a disadvantage. Another thing is the refresh rate isn't that high for competitive gaming or gaming in general. You typically want a refresh rate above 100 like you know 140 something. Uh, some monitors are even over 200 I've seen, but this monitor is I believe around 70, 75. So the refresh rate isn't as good as like a higher end gaming uh, monitor. But for video editing, you probably would never notice. So would I recommend this monitor? I would say I would not recommend this monitor unless you're in a similar position as me where you are a creative professional, you are making money, besides that you may have a business where you can use it as a, an expense claim, and then of course if you appreciate a, a higher resolution and a better connectivity. Alright that's it for this video on the review of the LG 5K 2K 40 inch monitor. It is an amazing curved ultra wide monitor and I would recommend it for any professional. So I'll leave a link in the description if you do want to pick up this exact monitor. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. We have over 150 other how-to review tutorial videos on this channel. So we have quite a lot of content that you can learn from. Thanks so much for watching this video and we will see you next time.